All right, we're making split flat boards. I was briefly obsessed with these things until I spent three weeks trying to make one in Blender. The original plan was to recreate how they work in real life. They consist of a rotating wheel with flaps attached to it. When the wheel rotates, it reveals the next letter. So I had a cylinder with flaps and a cloth simulation, and it looked cool, but I started running into a lot of problems with this method. In the future, I may go back and revisit this. But in the meantime, here's a cleaner method. I'm going to warn you now, this is very tedious. First, model the flaps. They can be as simple or as fancy as you want. They need to have thickness because you need to be able to apply a texture to both sides. Now duplicate your flaps 13 times. This will give you a total of 14. And because there are two sides on each flap, you will have 28 characters, which is enough for the whole alphabet, one special character, and a blank that can be used as a space. Now turn on automatic keyframing and insert a rotation location keyframe for all of the flaps. Now select the left side and drag them down one notch. Now select the top right flap and rotate it 180 degrees. Now grab all of the flaps on the right and drag them up one notch. Next select the bottom flap and delete its keyframe. Now rotate it 180 degrees. The first movement is now done and it should look something like this. Now advance three frames and repeat this process for the rest of the flaps. This will take some time, but you only have to do it once and then you can duplicate it as many times as you want. Now it's time to add the letters. Select the top flaps and add an image texture. You need a high resolution image with the entire alphabet on it. I made this one myself. With both top flaps selected, in edit mode, select just the top two faces. Hit U, project from view, and line up and scale the projection in the UV image editor. In object mode, advance three frames and repeat. Pretty soon you will have the entire alphabet. When it's done, it should look something like this. Now be sure to go back and remove the keyframes for the X and Y location for each flap. Otherwise, you won't be able to move them around. Now it's time to program. I'm going to try to spell the word London. So I'm going to add six stacks of letters. Select the first stack and find the keyframe associated with the letter L. Now duplicate that keyframe and move it to where you want the next change to happen. 130 should be good. Now select all the keyframes behind L and move them behind the one you duplicated. So we have essentially just made a gap in the animation. Repeat this process for all of the letters. So now it says London. Okay, let's do another six letter European city. Let's try Zurich. It's the same process as before. Find the Z and duplicate it to where you want the next change to happen. And then move the remaining letters behind it. Now things get a little different when we get to the letter C because C is before O in London. So you have to copy all the first keyframes and move them here. So now you can find the C, copy it and move it to where the next change happens. Then just move the remaining letters. I hope this makes sense. It should look something like this. So now you can use this to make huge complex departure signs or something as simple as a clock.